Very good morning, everyone. Uh, today is my another day of my uh, tracker life. And I sleep about five, six hours. And I have to go because tomorrow I have to get my gym. So I am about boys. I am from the gym, from the from the Thursday, no, Wednesday last week, no, this week, yeah, this Sunday, so a little bit miss my days, and now I park on my uh, beautiful parking with my uh, van here, just go get the key from that, oh yeah, we will reverse back, so temperature outside it's hot yeah misery is always hot i hope i'm not hit anyone misery is always hot so i'm gonna get my fuel right now and keep going today today it's gonna be not really bad day it's only 1200 kilometers only so people get a new trucks here i see that new reefers i knew this guy yeah so my refill running it's 34 right now 34.2 still good so it's that guy he get a new carrier also so, and I get uh, some post on of the post uh, and UPS uh, location, but they close today. It's very strange. I rented box from them, but they never put anything on my box. I have to come in during working hours. That's what I don't like it. And I called them yesterday, says, look, I have uh, three, uh, three parcels. She says, oh, no, 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 we, we will not left uh, anything in the boxes during on a um, robbery there. So she says, I says, uh, like they come, they all my parcels come the last week. She says, so oh, don't worry about, they can stay in uh, our location uh, half year. I says, oh, it's okay, that's not, I will get a new gold chain for my motorcycle it's ready to prepare for driving in toronto probably maybe one day i will drive in here in my beautiful place in springfield yeah it's a good place here for drive so today is sunday that place it's not really busy so we can go here on the left usually i go through the highway but this is shortcut for the uh, truck stop. And I will get fuel there. Fuel, yes. And uh, keep going. Uh, what, oh, he's recalculate uh, my uh, role. Yes, guys. Uh, so I still, I keep still, I still sleep. And uh, oh, the mosquitoes around, they try to kill me. But I am strong. And I still think about my plans uh, go from the north to the south of the from the north Canada, go to the south to the south to America. But I find out yesterday it's actually it's no any road connection between North America and South America. Like mean where's the Guatemala, Gonduras like I don't remember those uh, countries, but it's it's no actual road connection. So uh, what I find out yesterday, I should if I that's definitely I will drove by the car, yeah. Uh, so I should uh, load my car in container, C container and uh, deliver to 
I don't know, like maybe Colombia, and from there going uh, keep driving to the south of the south of America. So, and I spoke yesterday with uh, Camaro guy, and I tell him some news about who discovered the first time in America. What he says is Kalum. I says yes, it's Kalum. He find out. He think that's the India, but he never think that's it's America, and America was opened, and discovered by the second guy. His name Americo Vespucci, and he just hit the Santa Maria or wherever those. Uh, island in uh, Caribbean and after that he go in south and he turn around and after that he realized that's the different country and that's why it's called the uh, America because this guy was America was pushing that shut up you she is wrong right now we keep going but here on the right it's my stand spot here I do all, all the time I do my stunts. But I can do today, but I don't have a chain. See that lady in UPS uh, store, she break my plans. See, I should take my right right now. And next 10 minutes, po, po, open up my bike. I see that's the beautiful place. And kind people, nobody kicked me out from there. Because they saw me, I was riding there. Nobody tell me, oh, you have to leave our premises. So uh, that's one once happened in uh, in my town. It's ten past five. It's everything closed. The people go to the work, and I start and popping up my bike. And one lady, she just came to me. She says, "You cannot do here." I says, "Look, are you working on this building?" Oh, see, that's the right, six kilometers. She says, oh, yeah, I, I work here, and you have to the left uh, uh, premises. But there is a, like, business area, like, you know, the, just the dogs for the trucks, nothing there. I says, why? Because you you trespassing or something, she's starting talking bullshit. I says, look, sweetheart, you finish your work. Just go home. That's it. Just go home. Don't mind about your that spot. What it's here. Like I just ride in my bike. No, you cannot ride in the bike here. I says, look. Just go home. Go to your husband. Stay with him. Don't waste your time with me. She going crazy. I just move from that spot. She started making pictures of my van. That's what she is. She, she's gone. And I keep keep driving uh, my bike on that spot. Why why she she did that? Like why people they worry about uh, they just uh, um, concrete uh, spot there. It's no any equipment, no no nothing, and my bike only. Oh, that's was stupid. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. So we'll get them. We'll get a fuel right now. See four kilometers left, and keep going. A little bit boring. It's my day starting a little bit boring today because I still sleep, and I hope I will wake up. Yeah, but tomorrow I go. See that stupid animal? He he using the uh, push bikes on the. Road, yeah, I know we have to share uh, roads with uh, uh, cyclists, but that's the stupid using the highway, like it's not highway, but it's still it's truck trucks coming here, and maybe some drivers they idiots they can hit him, but people still driving on this road, like I, I never would driving on push bikes uh, on that it, it's no hard shoulder, it's hard hard shoulder like that. Okay, guys, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please put your, please subscribe and put your comment below. 
and uh, if I have some interesting I will make uh, more videos short videos for you but I don't know what it's gonna be see the I don't want to talk right now with anyone oh maybe yeah, if I uh, if I see the uh, carrier uh, semi truck unit so I will give them tips about the temperature inside I always will I know now how they fix the trailers I, I helped guy yesterday and if I see anyone there I will bam I will say oh look man you have a wrong setting on, on your refer I can help you so the people oh yeah yeah go ahead help me yeah bam and if he set up 34 it will be 34 not like 37 or 36 or wherever it's uh temperature outside it's gonna be uh increase the temperature in the box so that's the bullshit. if you set up 34 it will be inside 34. so that's <clears throat> so yes guys so i'm gonna take a left right now thank you for watching and um yeah i see you in the next video so it's happened a very interesting story here so with my cooler of the seats so and i says to myself if i see any guys with the uh, carrier uh, unit i and if they beside me on a fuel station so i always will help them so and when i park it was the one guy with carrier unit so i came to him and i says look you have uh, produce but he's the old guy and he started shaking his hand his head yeah and i just realized he have no english i asked him where are you from he says romania oh i straight away gave him the couple of romanian words because I know that Romania and Moldova, they have the same accent, they have the same language. So he started laughing on my Romanian, and I said, oh, okay. Uh, I started asking about the uh, refer. He like uh, just, bruh, 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 bruh. he have no clue what I asked him. He, I, ha I can't understand what he answered to me, uh, so, I, I think ah okay just don't mind so and I go I go to uh, my truck so after that after a while he came to me he asked where I'm from I says I'm Russian and he started talking Russian uh, I, I tell him like why you tell me you from Romania he says oh because nobody know where is Moldova <laughs> and he started swearing for the people they have no any knowledge about that uh, little country i said so man don't worry about like i know where's moldova and i know many uh, friends from moldova so i asked him about the reefer so it's a busy road here i guess i asked him about reefer and he says oh yeah right i put 34 and my temperature and inside in a box it's always high like uh, 37 38 39 I says, bro, I can fix it, yo, your reefer. I show him my one. My one is uh, 34 and hold 34 inside. He says, oh, no way, because he says, he started to tell me, he saw is the old Thermo Kings. They set up 34 and they hold 34. I says, yeah, because they don't have a fresh point on their reefer. So I turn off his fresh point. He delivered, he now have a delivery of the meat, I guess, because he have 24, 24 or 26, something like that. That's usually uh, taken for the meat, for the fresh meat. Maybe he have chicken, maybe he have a pork, uh, maybe he have whatever beef, but that's, and he says, oh, but it's, it's, it's working for 28. If I set up 28, it's always uh, hold the 28. I says, yeah, because that's the fresh point that's starting from 32. And I explain him, put, uh, change his all settings. And I said, next time when you go in 34, it will be 34. He says, oh, okay, 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 okay. But he took my phone number. I sent him all manual, manual for carrier unit. 
and, and uh, he says, oh, okay, thank you very much. So that's the happened with me on the uh, last half hour when I get a uh, foil, 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 whatever that name, that name of the liquid, foil. Uh, and uh, I keep going. Oh, 24 Indian uh, food. I should go there, make a video. We'll see how dirty is that place. See, Dhaba, that Dhaba. Oh, that's like uh, next time, next next time when I go, when I see Indian food, I definitely will go. But see, now I know it's uh, here, this place. So I, I, I will walk to the cross the road and I will ma make the Indian. You don't have to go to India. You will see piece of uh, India here. It's definitely a worse place and dirty place on this area. <laughs> That's hundred percent. So I will stop someday uh, on a New Mexico. It's there two places where they sell the dirty food. It's only it's only trucks there with uh, uh, those sign uh, seed who whatever those sign like you know like that. So those symbols, India symbols, only trucks there parking up on them uh, spot yeah of course no one uh, wanna eat like people who see how they live how they uh, stay in this earth they they really dirty people and those people who came from India now they growing up and that dirtiest yeah and they have no idea the other people can live more cleanest so they cook everything by the hand like you know that's that like that's the stupid like you know he just scratching the nose scratching the ass and after that he put it oh like that's even my big kid i asked him let's go to india uh, we'll see taj mahal he says oh no that no way i will not go in that dirty country no way no i will i will go to this country but it's my uh, adventure of the world it will start in for the next year. I hope so. Because we will see what's going on with that apartment right now. For how much I will get tenants there. How often they will pay. So we will see. But next year. Yeah, we'll start in my discussion. And I will get a dog for myself. And I don't know what dog I will get. German shipper. Belgian shipper. It's Malinois or uh, husky those three types i see the video <laughs> that is husky mom is a, a golden labrador and they have so ugly dogs <laughs> they half of husky half of labrador huskies have a hair like that so those are dogs they have hairs like that and different eyes so that was funny but okay guys thank you for watching me please subscribe and i see you in the next short video so evening starting it's another 400 kilometers left and this is my lovely truck stop oh that's not truck stop actually that's the uh rest area it's about maybe Two, three hundred, um, two or three hundred uh, parking spaces, and it's every time you have a space here for stay overnight. But I have to go to my gym for tomorrow. So, like, the guy here, he get a problem with his uh, trailer for the small trailer, like you know, uh, uh, utility trailer. I think it's called them with the cars for the cars. Have a good one. So, and I walk there, just past them, uh, throws my garbage. So, to uh, old people, it's I think they over seventies. I ask them if they need the help to remove the tire from utility trailer. They they have small uh, small trailer, but its tire is gone. And the guy there, it's couple there actually. It's uh, wife and husband and the uh, guy there he's uh, i think it's over 70s 
it looks like even he a little bit uh, upset when ask him to if he need the help. He says, no, I don't need the help. I can do myself. I says, I, I just ask. And uh, his lady is just laughing. <laughs> he says, no, 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 we can do. Uh, we can do ourselves. I says, look, if you need the help, I go to throw my garbage. You still have a time for 25 seconds. Think about if you need the help. When I come back, you can tell me, yes, we need the help and I will help you. So I go throw my garbage when come back. Uh, they look at me <laughs> and I ask them, so do you need the help? They says, no, no, thank you very much. We don't need it. She says, yeah, but thank you. They, they tell me thank you for ask them. Says, that's no problem. I didn't tell them they uh, old people, but it's couple uh, years. I will feel like they are, like I will be old. So we're all going to be old. But this is guy, it's like strong one. So he says, no, I don't need it. I can do myself. I says, okay, no problem. But I'm happy to help you. No, 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 thank you, thank you. It's only there five uh, nuts to get them out, put the wheel back. He already removed the old nuts. So he just jacking up and uh, change the tire. So yeah, I see, it's very kind people. I just ask them where they're from. They say they're from Ohio, so they're heading to the east. I didn't ask him why, from where they come, but they're from Ohio. So from, uh, I'm now in Indiana. So I just, uh, I just left, um, what's the call them? Uh, Indianapolis. So I just was in Indianapolis, like it's Indianapolis about 40 minutes away from here, from that, maybe half an hour from the, that uh, um, rest area. So that's the good one. That's, I love that rest area. In uh, uh, winter, it's, I always stop here, always. But anyway, guys, it's evening time already. I driving, sun, it's exactly behind me. It's exactly on the west. And I going exactly to the east. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Please put your comment below. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, you can ask me and I will tell you. Like I didn't do fasting for last couple of days. So maybe next week I will start and do fasting. But we will see. I have lots of food on my uh, fridge, actually two fridges. So and next week I go uh, to Toronto, so I probably have to finish all my food and way to Toronto. I probably take uh, two or three days uh, fasting, but we will see. But anyway, I will post my uh, video every day and you will see everything about me. I see you tomorrow. Peace.